Rascopay fans. So we're going to do something. We're going to do a little storage unit again. I got this unit here at the U-Haul storage in Rochester for uh, $50. And this is the first time I've been able to get here. I got it on Monday and I have till tomorrow's Thursday at 7 p.m. to clean it out. Um, this is the first time I could get here to get it and it is a 5 by 10 so let's pop the door open here and see what we got. Uh, you can kind of see we got some totes here some clothes A lot of stuff. Hopefully I can get it in this load. If I can't get it in this load, I'm going to have to come back tomorrow. So let me get the chest harness on and let's start do some digging. Okay, you're going to have to forgive me. It took me a minute to get the chest harness on. But we got it. I got a tote here. Because I knew I was going to, and I got some more in the car. I don't think there's going to be any furniture in here because... This is on the second floor. So, hopefully that we got some clothes here. George, these will go in our rummage sale. And I'm gonna kinda go through some of this stuff fast because we'll check, we'll do most of the checking at home. Looks like some kids clothes also. <sighs> I'm by myself. And Chris is messaging me. Because he's on his break. So. Forty-four thirty-twos. These are some nice pants. They're brand new. Hmm. Rustlers. Huh. Like I said, we won't go through too much. We're gonna uh, try to get as much loaded up today as possible. We can do some of the fine tooth, fine tooth stuff at home. That is a work shirt of some sort. Upside down top, which is empty, which is kind of nice because now I got an extra tote. And this is garbage bags upon garbage bag, stuffed animals. Looks like kids' toys, stuffed animals, a wig, that'll sell for a dollar. Um, got a shoebox full of stuff here. Hmm. I'm guessing this is correct. This is mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's stuff that I don't think we uh, want to deal with. So that's going to go back in the box. And that gives you kind of a clue as to what we're getting into with this. And it's funny because it's in a bag full of 
wigs and kids toys and uh, stuff like that <laughs> pew pew but they're nerf pew pews so I'm not gonna get too involved with that bag we'll put this back in here somehow get it very deep in there Set that aside for now. What's funny is there's a couple other units up here that have uh, the security locks on them. So there's going to be more units up for auction in, in this facility. So we'll see. Oh, this is suitcase that's wrecked. Front pouch. Total wireless. Oh, just instruction stuff. Uh, some pens. I'm trying to find the zipper on this thing, but I don't. Here it is. Open it up a little bit. Zip ties. Quite a few zip ties. Uh, flip flop. Hat. Well, more CPAP equipment. An elephant. It is Dumbo. It's Disney plush. That's a few bucks. Bunch of zip ties in here. Some remotes. Sharps remote, LG, book, vanilla envelopes, oh, we got a jersey, a Lakers jersey, hmm. that might be worth some money, we can put some more stuff in here. Like I said, I'm not going to go through the clothes too much because it's clothes. And I want to try to get through as much stuff as possible. We'll zip this back up. And here's the cutoff lock. Because we got to take everything with us. Too bad this suitcase wasn't in nicer condition. That's probably just gonna go to the junkyard. Route 66 flask. Cotter box. That's worth some money. A whole thing of gain. Tied. We'll use it or donate it, one of the two. I see a blanket coming out of this bag here. Professional Bluetooth headset. I think they're in here. Feels kind of heavy. Let's see. How to open, how to open. Nope. Charger might be in there though. We'll see. Maybe they're in here somewhere. Can't guarantee they're a decent headset, but. Maybe we something. This feels like stuffed animals and clothes. So we're not going to get too involved in that. Hmm. Unicorn onesie. That's kind of nice because I've sold one of those before at a rummage sale. Gotten it out of a storage unit. Here's the, for the Nerf guns that I found earlier. There's more totes in here than I thought, thank God. This feels like all clothes. There might be some other stuff in there. I'm not going to open it up though to find out at this point. 
Bungee cords. Can never have enough of those. Metro Galaxy. It doesn't feel like it's in here, but it feels like it's probably just, yeah, charger. One reason I bought this unit too is because I like these yellow, black and yellow totes. They're not easier to handle so and they're easier to you can beat them up pretty darn good and not worry about them so kind of excited about these this is I don't know something Phillips we'll figure it out maybe it's in here let's pop this tote it's all clothes, looks like. At least it's clean clothes. I can smell the Febreze. You can see the little pellets in here. They dumped uh, Febreze pellets in here, but it looks like it's all clothes all the way down, which is good. One less thing, one less tote for me to have to try to pack later. Oh. Let's see, and it really smells of Febreze, which is better than smelling like cigarette smoke or anything like that. So, I'll try to get this tote out of here, or moved a little bit. Might just take that right down to the car. Whew. Here is a tote kind of dumped all over the place. Let's see what we got in here. Pictures. We'll have to edit that out. Oh, well, they had a dog. Dog leash. Kind of gross. Pills, razors, hair ties. And some stuff that dumped out. These feel like, yep, cowboy hats. And I just sold the cowboy hat that we found in the last unit. These look like clay cowboy hats, but we'll have to look them up later. Here's some baseball hats. Tar Heels, Carolina. Uh, they've been worn. One looks somewhat new, but I don't think they're worth too much. <sighs> More clothes. Vanity. Oh. Flip flops. Anything if I can get there's some cough syrup or something. If anything, if I can get most of this unit, that's kind of interesting. Huh. Looks like a lighthouse, light snow globey type thing. Ugh, and a charger of some sort. If I can get this unit picked up and kind of put together, we can come and get as much of it as possible. Looks like clothes are just scattered all over the place. Clothes, more clothes. Got some stuff down here. We got a cane. Ooh, ouch. It's a nice cane. Set that there for now. Yeah. Oh. Polar optics. Some sunglasses. Don't know much about them. They don't feel too expensive. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, so there must be a costume of some sort in here. 
makeup brush kit. Oh, some stickers. Some more clothes. I mean, a lot of clothes in this unit, which is perfectly okay with them. I mean, I have so much to go through as it is. Time and True is a Walmart brand. Like I said, I'm not too worried about. I'm just get it cleaned up, organized, and then we'll see what we got to stuff in the car. <laughs> see ya. Jewelry box. It says Disney on it. Nope. Hopefully, whatever that is, there's some jewelry in here. There's some boots sitting on top. Time and true. And a dress shoe. A new day. That's a decent brand. There's the other one. See a TV tray in here. I guess I didn't really need to bring any uh, totes with me because it looks like I got enough empty totes in here to. This feels like sock underwear. No. This is probably all clothes. Looks like men's clothes. Not gonna go through too much of it. Like I said. Organize. Try to get as much in things as possible. And a little towels. This is all clothes. It feels like there's some other stuff in here. Oh, they probably put some Febreze beads in there too. That's what it feels like. Got magnetic rocks. And oh, at least that's empty. I'm glad they didn't leave food in it. Like the last unit we got. Hmm. Cross fingers, we can get all this in one load. <laughs> um, not liking how it's tossed, but we will. It's a dog carrier or a pet, a pet kennel. Um, like I said, I'm hoping. Oh, I see some Blu rays. We got some DVDs. Cash Money Records. Magnificent Seven. That feels like a pirated disc. Magnificent Seven's not. Rudy. CD. Brand new in the box. Money Makings. When the game stands tall. All of them are in here. Fallout. Another one of those. Maze Runner. <sighs> clothes. And more clothes. I said I'm not gonna go through too much of clothes. I'm just gonna load them up into totes here and get stuff uh, packed away. And we'll go through the clothes and everything. I see something Marvel, it looks like underwear. Dash can be good. Tote's kind of full. And, oh, it is warm in here. Um, 
Okay, we got totes there, 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 there. So I'm gonna take this chest harness off. I'm gonna go load up the one tote in the car. See if I can get this tote out here uh, kind of packed up. I think it's all clothes. At least there's no, and I'm happy to say, there's no real furniture. Ooh! That's good. Walkie talkie. <coughs> and this looks like a car USB charger of some sort. Um, Cookie Monster. They sprinkled Febreze. Pellets in here too. This feels like, looks like a bunch of clothes also. So, I'm just going to pack this all in here. And, uh, hopefully I can get the lid on it. And I'm going to go load up the car. I think I see some Christmas. Let's see what this tote has. I see some hats again. There's a speaker. Box. Forever 21. Decent. Spoon. Christmas lights. A gold glittery rig. A mermaid doll of some sort. Looks like tie. More Christmas lights. A funnel. There's the box for the new day shoes. A couple of cutting boards. And then I saw a speaker fill out. So let me go load up the car with some of this and I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't record too much. Um, we'll record more when we get back home. As you can see, I got the car packed. I got everything in except for five totes. Um, majority of it's closed. There's one bag that has some items in it. I grabbed it so it's in the car already. We'll check that out to see. The cooler was empty, very dirty. I highly doubt I might put it out at the dollar rummage sale just to get rid of it, but it's got like dirt or cement in it. So maybe we'll clean it up. I don't know, we'll sell it as is. But I'm on my way home. Um, it's an hour and 20 minutes roughly to get home. That's why I picked this unit because it's close. And I might come back tonight and clean out the rest of the unit, but I might just do it after work tomorrow. Like I said, I have till 7 p.m. tomorrow night to clean it out. So stay tuned. On our way home, we'll unload and maybe come back today, maybe come back tomorrow. Stay tuned, folks. Okay, folks. I went to my storage unit and did some sorting. And <laughs> I came home and did more sorting. So a lot of it's clothes. This tote, that tote, that's all socks. That's all clothes. That's all clothes. That's clothes. This is some, there's some clothes down at the unit that I couldn't get. There's a mix of stuff. Uh, that Lakers jersey was not in very good condition, so it's going towards our garage sale. Now, some of the things that uh, I did find, Justin Bieber wristwatch. We'll put it in a watch lot or see if it's worth anything. But our money maker, which I found in a bag, and there's one box, but and where's the other one? And it's definitely in there. there. Oh, and everything falls out. Um, I did find a cell phone, the Samsung. Uh, what Samsung is this, Chris? Not sure. We haven't uh, determined that. Yet. Yeah, and then there's a couple walkie-talkies. I did find the uh, Metro Hotspot, T-Mobile Hotspot thing. 
Um, a bunch of space ball stickers. Chris likes these, so going we're gonna. The they're going on the car. I don't care. Um, bunch of them. Uh, and then there was some. I'm gonna sell these. I'm gonna see if uh, some of my coworkers want some. But there is a bunch of DVDs. Um, Ghostbusters, uh, Pet Cemetery, Big Mama's House, but a lot of the horror movie uh, stuff. Friday the 13th, Jason, and I know that there's some Mission Impossible. Critters, I know there's some of my coworkers that like that kind of stuff. So I'm going to see if they want some of that. There's also um, Medea's and quite a few seasons of the Big Bang Theory. So we might keep those for ourselves or not. But our money maker is right here. Chris, can you open these? So um, I found these in bag in a garbage bag. That garbage bag that I said that was really, really, really curious about. That felt kind of fun. Um, if you can see, there's a ring. It does say sterling silver. And then there's this cross pendant. Um, it has markings on it. I'm not 100% sure what it says on it. Um, but it came in this box here. And it does say Genuine Diamond, Dolce Giovanna. And then this is the box for the ring. Right here. A quarter carat, Genuine Diamond, Sterling Silver. And there is, in the bottom of this, the receipt. Or I did find the receipt for in the bag with the this one. And I know that's the ring. Because that's not the receipt for... I think that's the receipt for something else, but I did find in the bag, it's in the garbage now, the receipt for the ring. Granted, it's a Walmart ring, but it's still a diamond. It's a quarter carat. It was about $100. Um, or $98. Like I said, I found the receipt with the box. And I know it's... We did find one earring. I don't know if it's good. we're going to find the other one or not. It's not anything special. But um, I know this ring for sure is the ring that goes in that box. Because it kind of matches my ring. <laughs> my engagement ring. And I know where Chris got my engagement ring. And it's no big deal because I didn't want anything fancy. So we got game pods pet carrier. I'm going to see if my parents want that. Otherwise, it's just going to go in the dollar sale, but most of it's going in. The okay, so Chris and I went back to the unit and got the last five totes. Most of everything in that unit, in the unit, was clothes. So, we did find a couple pieces of jewelry. Those jewelry, we had them tested. Say they're diamonds. We don't know. We're going to go take it to a jeweler to find out. Everything in that unit we took to our dollar sale. Um, we did sell some of the clothes for our dollar sale, but we took everything that we didn't sell and we we took it to Goodwill and just, just donated it. Um, it wasn't of any high quality. So if you haven't heard about our dollar sale or our fundraiser, we are doing fill the ring for uh, school supplies and kids in the lacrosse school district so if you want to check that out check out our live auctions uh, and our live YouTube events on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Central Time and you can donate whatever and this goes up until August and we are doing this with regular guy barbecue and our CCW thank you everybody and stay tuned for our next Midwest